Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On September 7, 1965, the Dallas Morning News reported that Governor Paul Johnson of Mississippi had ordered the Mississippi National Guard to leave Natchez. In the previous week, Governor Johnson had ordered the Guard to the city to preserve law and order in the face of what he described as high racial tension, expressing a fear of riots, mobs, and breach of the peace in the wake of the bombing of George McCalf's car. The local NAACP president, Milcalf, survived the blast. In the wake of the bombing, the local African-American community presented the city with a list of 12 demands and planned a series of protest marches and demonstrations. As the National Guard moved in, the city rejected all 12 demands, and the NAACP canceled the marches in favor of a boycott of white-owned stores in the downtown area. The Mississippi Freedom Democrat Party urged the governor to withdraw the troops, claiming that the presence of the armed gunsmen was intimidating to local African Americans. Upon the removal of the guard, the Freedom Democrat Party called for Natchez African Americans to demonstrate in support of the 12 demands submitted to the mayor. I'm Morgan Baskin, a sophomore at NECA, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.